Sick Little Suicide, I love playing because I get to play a lot of guitar stuff on it. Uh, we're really, really happy with the way that song came out. And it was a little bit heavier and just a fun song to play. wrote that song when I was living in campus housing um, in San Francisco at the Academy of Art. I had two roommates that, oh, the first roommate that I moved in with, within like three days of me moving in, he went to jail. The second roommate ate all of our oil paints, ingested them all, and all the medicine in our cabinets, and uh, he didn't die, but I did call the ambulance and they pumped his stomach. I found him in the bathtub full, covered in blue paint. It was like a scene that's etched in my brain, but I wrote this song about all of our uh, flirtation with with death, because I, I remember everybody was talking about, oh, how fucked up it is to try to off himself, like, in your room, or like, at all, like, that sucks. And I was like, yeah. And we're all like, just laying against the side of the building, like, slowly killing ourselves with cigarettes and whatnot. Like, there is there is like an attraction to not being attracted to life. And we're just like, a lot of us are just very passive about it, you know? And um, I thought that sounded like a good basis in the song. Um, that's another one with a ton of lyrics. I don't know if I could rattle that one off right now. I'm gonna have to brush up on it. Also, the the lyrical content is great too. It it's it's one of the few matches songs from that period that touched on like real important issues that affect people and the world and society at large. Sickle Suicide is probably one of my favorite songs on the record. I think it holds up. Most of the record, you know, you could say is about us in a certain period of life. Sickle Suicide has lyrically, musically, I think that song could be played 30 years from now and the message will probably still resonate with people regardless of their age. I think it crossed generations in terms of like, the parents who took their kids to shows would like be like, oh, that song's pretty cool. But with Sickle Suicide, it, it, I think it's a song that has stood the test of time, that the lyrics mean something to a lot of people. And musically, I think it starts kind of the, the progression between the original core songs that made it be Von Delco, The Locals, and what would come later with our other albums. You decide. 